Today I'd like to go through a warm-up routine that is quite good for a lower body exercise um, session. This is a routine that's actually inspired by a lot of people I'm coaching at the moment. Um, and I first was going to record it just for her, but then I figured that I would share it with everybody. Um, the point to this is to get the hips um, working and loose. I, the person that I'm recording this for um, has some problems with the hip flexors and therefore it's impinging, impinging her squat quite a little bit. So um, the idea of this is to try and stretch the hip flexors, get the hips moving and activate some of the other muscles within the glutes and the, around the hips area. So first of all I'm just going to start off with some leg swings. I need 10 on each leg forwards and backwards, and then side to side. So like this. I like to try and really squeeze my glute up on the side here and then let it swing down. And again, with the front to back, squeeze my glute at the back, and then swing forwards, just increasing the swing to stretch the hamstring out slightly as I go along. And then side to side. Again, just increasing the swing on the set. Next, I'm just going to do some air squats, just to try and get everything moving a little bit before a squat session. And then after the fifth one, I just want to stay down there, push my elbows out, try to lift my chest up, sink a little bit deeper if we can. I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. I'll feel my adductors stretching. Try and keep your chest up when you do this. Keep your back straight as you can. And then back into squats. Really opening up through your knees and your hips. And again at the bottom of the fifth one down. Knees out. Really sink into it. Lifting your chest up. And ideally, with those and the leg swings, I'll probably do them a couple of times around. Next, using a band. There are different ways you can do this. Some people like to do walking crab walks um, side to side, but I'm just going to do this statically for now. So, just putting the band just around the bottom, my knees, underneath my knees there, extending out, really thinking about pulling with that glute there, activating it. Trying to keep in the knees and feet facing forwards. This doesn't need to be a very big movement, just a strong movement there to the side. And now I'm going to show you a hip flexor stretch um, using a band. I think this is very good for both upper body and lower body. If I'm doing a bench session, um, I tend to get be able to develop the arch a lot better once my hip flexors are loosened off, because if your hip flexors are tight, it's very hard to arch. And also you might get more uh, glute cramp, which people tend to get when they're benching, um, which can get worse if your hip flexors are tight because it's, it's trying to fight against them. So. Um, this one I use for both lower body and upper body sessions just to get my hip flexors nice and loose and mobile and so they're not going to be sore or tight as I'm trying to perform the movements. So you just need to loop a band around something, um, something stable. You fit in there. And here, when you bring the band up it wants to go right underneath you and then up and across the hip joint there. And then you're going to step back with that leg. Steady myself on the front leg and then just relax. Sit up nice and straight here, push back very slightly with your front leg and relax with the front with the back one. And then you should feel it just stretching down the front here. It's a really nice release. I'd hold that for maybe about 30 seconds and then do the other side. So with those exercises. As I said, that one, maybe about 30 seconds aside, a couple of times round, with movements at the beginning, 
Um, I do those a couple of times round, or maybe three times round, just to get warm before you do your squat or your deadlift session. 